Hey, what's up guys? I'm back from Victoria, Canada. I took a five-day trip and uh, something happened while I was gone. That was amazing. A, a lot of things happened, you know, the money pouch glitch and all that stuff, but I didn't actually log on to RuneScape one time, but I made 200 plus mil and uh, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna dive right into it and check it out. Yeah, check out that inventory, Barrows Overload. I bought all these sets about two weeks ago and like I said, I have not played RuneScape in five days and uh, when I come back, something something insane happened. I'll show you guys some graphs in just a second. And I really want this to be inspiration. I don't want to brag. Like, I've had so many fails, so many losses. But nowadays, you know, when I invest, <laughs> I'm doing pretty well. And I almost get win after win. And I want to show you guys, you know, it's not that hard. And uh, yeah, let's do it. So if you guys have been following the channel for quite some time, you know, I use GE Tracker all the time. Like, I, I log on to it multiple times a day. And uh, yeah, man, it has high margins. It's just everything. There's so many items. Has all of the ROIs that you can make. Even look at the Zami Koi, 80k to 280k. And uh, you know, it's just awesome. It has high volumes as well. You can check out potions. It is definitely worth to check it out, guys. And if you do want to buy into it, I'm not even trying to like sell anything. This is so worth it for you guys. It's two dollars and forty cents a month. When I logged in this morning and checked these prices of all the merches, I was so jacked. And uh, yeah, I just want you guys to have the feeling I had. So let's check out Aram set 3.7 mil. Just check out this graph. We'll actually go to the um, go to the quarter. I'll move this over just a hair. Look at that. I bought them. You know, obviously right around here. I saw that they dropped way too low, and they <laughs> they went back up to what they were. So yeah, 2.6 mil to 3.6 mil. I have 94 of them. That is 94 mil profit. Alright, so moving over to the G, I'm actually going to collect all these items and uh, I guess, you know, we'll leave the Justa card. Didn't even, it didn't even sell, man. Feels bad. I lost a lot of money on that. Probably like 30 mil, but I did flip around five of them a couple days ago, but I kept this why i am um, you know while I was on the trip. So that, that kind of sucks. And also that Torag is very glitched. Like, where's the rest of the T? I'm actually just going to search up an Aram set and buy it. Um, I have so many of them, but you know, you could, oh dang, that's a really good sign, no way. But uh, yeah, I have so many of them, it doesn't really matter if I, I lost a little bit of gold, because you know, I'm just going to sell it for that price. And you can only buy 8 barrel sets per every 4 hours, which is a pretty good tip. So right here, it says 3778, I'll just plug that in and drop it a few GP, and we should be good. Yeah, this is kind of depressing. This is actually the Carol set, and we can see it just totally crashed. Almost a mil, and it only rose, you know, 150k, so I did not make too much profit on this one at all. Probably just around 4 mil. Checking out the Guthans next. 3.7 mil, roughly. And, uh, wow, 3.1 mil. That That's a pretty good rise, although it's 4.1 mil. So it still could go up, but I think I'm just going to sell them all now for the video. And, uh, you know, that, that's, that's amazing either way. The Derox set looks pretty freaking nice right now. Oh man, it still drops so much though. So yeah, 3 mil to 3.2, so it went up about 200k. So yeah, it's about 200k profit times 30, so that's only 6 mil with the Derox sets. Damn, these Guthans are just flying off the shelves. That's a good sign. I actually haven't looked up the Torag set, and I have very low expectations. 700k. Why did I even buy? I think I lost money. <laughs> I freaking lost money. Wait, this is the month. Um, I could have bought it around there, but either way, I made 10k. See, with these type of investments, the, the ROI is so small, there's no big money to make. And, uh, I don't know, Torag's has never been good at all. Checking out the last set, Varak, I actually have 71 sets of them. 1.4 mil, so that's exactly 300k profit right there. And, yeah, 71, that's 21, almost 22 mil profit on the top of my head. That, that's very nice. It won't even buy for 1.8 mil. That, that's a very good sign. I guess we'll just plug it in and, uh, you know, see what we can get for. Those Guthin sets are just selling so quick. If these other ones don't sell, I could just, you know, dump them to be on 1.9 mil almost. Dang, man. That is insane. I'll probably wait an hour or two and come back to you guys and see the progress on these sets. So, yeah, I'll see you then. If you guys treat merch investment flip runs just like farm runs, you know, you go to the G every like two hours and, you know, just check up on them for five minutes. You will, you will become a rich person. And if you combine this, you know, with PVM, doing bandos, doing corp, you do birdhouse runs, do farm runs, do your miscellanea, you will be making so much money and, you know, you'll be a millionaire, a billionaire in no time. Oh, do we finish selling these things and the deck scrolls? It's probably been about... 
um, hour and 40 minutes. It looks like 20 of the Aram sets sold. I guess, you know, there's not much PKers. Feels bad, man. So that was actually my biggest profit. I'm sure overnight they will sell for sure. Oh, man, that's good. Just an hour and 40 minutes. I'm so happy about that. So much profit. I think I'm actually going to do the math and calculate the profit per each slot. Here's another investment I did, 100k Wrath Ruins, 145k Astrals, 20k Purple Sweets, uh, 59 Smoldering Stones, and 20 Pharaoh Scepters. I do believe the top 3 merches were total flops, like nothing happened, if not I even lost some money, but the Smoldering Stones, I bought them when they hit a serious crash, and they went up to like 2.1 mil, and you've seen them go up to 2.6 mil in the past, these things should continue to rise. The 20 Pharaoh Scepters did not go so well, I actually bought these in anticipation for the Arty Night nerf, but it kind of took so long, so the, the hype, you know, got spread out, and uh, people were still able to do it, plus the cash stack glitch and all that stuff. I, I anticipated everyone would actually go to, uh, you know, Pyramid Plunder, and these things would go to like 10 mil, but that's not the case. I want to say this blowpipe merch happened about two weeks ago, and, uh, you know, blowpipes were like 4 millish on the dot, and they just rose 1 mil in 3 days. I didn't even realize I had so many, and uh, yeah, just check, check this out, look at that. Yeah, 4.2 mil to 5.6 mil almost, and you know, if I would have just waited a few more days. Also, feel free to give the video a like and a comment if you guys want to see me merch like uh, some type of raids item or just, you know, raids 2 items overall. I've actually been merching Justicar armor for, you know, some very nice flips, and I could do, you know, 500 mil for one hour on two accounts or one bill. I think it'd be a great video. This guy's level 65 with an Abyssal Whip. That's pretty impressive. But yeah, guys, just a short video. Hopefully, it did inspire you. And uh, yeah, man, merching is just so awesome. There's so many items right now. Man, Canada and coming back to this gains. It was awesome. But yeah, guys, make sure you follow the Twitter as well to stay up on any feedback. And if you guys are subscribed, make sure you click the bell notification so you don't miss any upload. Have a good one, guys. See ya. Drinking old English rags tied.